Dirty pop. Yo. Sick and tired of warning everyone we talk about. What's the deal with these people? There's no need to freak out. The thing you got to realize is just joking in the end. We got the gift of craziness and say things that offend. These, these, these wake up. Oh, oh, my bad. I, I was just dreaming. Can we start the show now? Stupid. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> That still sounds What's good. What's awesome man. is he actually does dream of O sometimes singing to Dirty Pop. It's true. They do a duet. It's amazing. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. All right. Welcome to the Nobody Cares Show. My name is Intelligent. As always, I have my good friends around me, JJ Diesel. What's going on? And O Squared. What's up? Uh, Hoff couldn't be here today. He's a pussy and had to go to school the next day. So get your education and you better get A's because if you get a fucking F, I'm going to be pissed at you. Who are you I'm talking serious. to? serious. Hoff. Oh, oh, I'm hoping he's gonna watch this later. I I'm trying to motivate him to stay in school. I'm doing oh, do good. I thought you were talking to the kids out there. Oh, no, they don't. Care you motherfuckers that. too, stay in school. Spend your scholarship money. Because if you don't, you're gonna end up like <laughs> us. <laughs> Spending your scholarship money. On Spending your, your scholarship. scholarship money on Kim's Chinese food and playing uh, Mike Tyson's us. Punch Out oh. over at uh, Bullwinkles. There's a chance. Mm. Yeah. Great thing is, you guys gloves? have probably never heard. Yes, the one with the gloves. Oh, heck yes. That was the only one to play. Thank yeah. you. No SNES over here at the, at the yeah. uh, Bullwinkles. No way. We were straight up there getting getting uh, freaking full on welts and that shit was tight. In our fucking hands, getting um, blisters. Blisters, yeah. That shit was tight. That's right. Once you once you put your hands in there, you know you're in for a battle. Dude, you freaking lock in. It's like <laughs> Robotech. You're <laughs> all of a sudden in control. It's like, a, it's like when you're going with the chick. Hey, dude! Yeah. You've never you seen two guys. You've never seen two guys move their hands so fast, and like move from side to side, like they're really doing something to each other. Then him and I are playing that game. It's awesome! It was before, awesome. It before there was dance. Hey, before there was dance, dance revolution, where people are all over the place dancing. We were doing that on fucking Mike Tyson's Punch Out. It wasn't Mike Tyson's, but it was well, uh, Punch Out, whatever it was. It wasn't even Punch Out. It was just a boxing game. Yeah, it was by Sega. Yeah, but it, it was, was dope. It was incredible. Yes. So I yes, remember it. I was old too. Yes, that's yes. true. <laughs> All right. Well, before uh, I say anything else, we don't just talk about video games here on our show. We also critique music that we listen to every single week. Once a week, we release our shows where we listen to independent music from all over the world. We could take it as the common average listener would, and then we also rate it. And our rating system goes like this. We're never going to listen to it again on purpose. We would listen to it on the radio without changing the station, download illegally or steal it, iTunes a single or buy the album. Yes, those are our five ratings. And if you want to check us out, you can go to nobodycareshow.com. Hit us up at our email, mm. nobodycareshow at gmail.com. Text us or call mm. us and leave a message on our heat line. 909 heat 909 And yes, that number is available 24-7. Yes. And also you can check us out at our other media social sites such as Facebook, Twitter, Blip TV, and YouTube. We're on Tumblr and everything <laughs> else too, but I just don't want to say it all anymore. I'm tired. We're everywhere, okay? Yes. Google it. All right. Oh, let's get the show going. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. No, I got, <laughs> I got with, I just noticed when you said 24-7, that is a fact, and I'm all like, oh, maybe I should turn it off at night. <laughs> <laughs> You're so I stupid. Fu- so I get those fucking phone calls <laughs> when I'm fucking sleeping. I just thought of that right now. I'm all like, I just, oh, I shit. Just, I just I messed it up. An operator. He, I just messed him yeah. up. He's going to get phone calls at like 3 in the morning now. Yeah, I'm going to get fucking phone calls at 3 in the morning. <laughs> the fuck he's receiving texts and shit <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right first cute first artist of the day goes by the name uh lj warren and uh they do pop slash beatles <laughs> what the genre is beatles wait so you basically a cover band uh yeah i don't know That's i don't know this, this is out of uh Torri- torrington connecticut songwriter country slash adult pop slash adult contemporary slash beatles this is my Beatles wannabe track. I think it's time to give Here's Comes the Bride a long overdue rest and add <laughs> this fun, playful song to your wedding playlist. Huh. Uh, a, a wedding is a party, right? Enjoy. I thought you were asking us. I was like, <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I have a mix without kazoo as well. <laughs> without kazoo? There's a kazoo on this mix. Oh, my God. Nice. Oh. This is going to be good. Oh. This okay. is going to be good. Holy moly. All right. And this is <laughs> this oh, is no. this is LJ Warren, and we're, we're getting married. <laughs>
It goes All on. Right. That was LJ oh Warren. Oh my gosh. We're, we're getting married. And if you want to contact him, you can contact him at lwarren9 at optimum.net. And uh, you can find his stuff on vibedeck.com slash LJ Warren. You can also find him on soundclick.com. LJ Warren, listen to Age of Wings. We, we need to get higher on that thing. Yeah. And that's about it. Um, let's do it. Wow. Hmm. I guess I'll go because. Do um, you want to get it over with? Yeah. I muted you. Thank goodness. Um, Thank you, Dre Beats. Yes. Um, that was some ridiculously stupid shit. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. D- he just said D showed up. <laughs> Um, I enjoyed the laugh that it gave me. I'm not gonna lie. You know what I mean? We're I, I thought it was. I thought it was a hoot at first. Just I thought it was funny, and I wish. I wish we did hear a Beatles cover band right now. Thank you. Um, but I don't. I I think that's a joke. That's not a joke. It's still a joke. It sounded like a fucking joke song. Yeah. That was ridiculous. That was stupid. If you think any woman, if any man ever asked any woman to walk down the aisle to this song, I think she would literally beat him within each of his life. And I'm not talking about in a good way. Yeah. Um, so I guess if you're trying to have fun, um, it's just dumb. It didn't didn't really work that much. Um, so. You know what? There's one place it could have worked. I, Only one I'm that I can think of. Well then, I'm 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 done with this. So you go ahead and tell me where it would work at. <laughs> the only place I think this could have worked is way back in 1970, whatever it was, or 18, 1980, whenever it dropped. The first original movie, Arthur. This could have been the closing credit song of <laughs> Arthur. No, I think this would be like something like in the movies in the 1950s and shit. Um, I see where he's going with the whole Beatles type feel. Like, yeah, there's. Some Beatle esque like type drops yes, or instrumentation and stuff in it. I will say this: keep your dignity to not drop the kazoo from the track. Hey, do I not am, drop it. That's what I was totally gonna say. Do not drop it. Do not drop the do kazoo. Do not drop it the adds kazoo. To it. it adds to it. Here's the thing: even though it sounds, this song sounds kind of cheesy and it's kind of hokey, like Diesel was saying. Kind of. There are some kinda. people that are gonna be like, "This song is addicting. I can't forget it. That melody is fucking stuck in my head because you sang it a million times, and now I remember the hook, and now I'm like." Oh, they should play this song at this wedding that I'm at right now. You know what I mean? Like, some people are, it's going to oh get into their head and watch. It's going to kind of catch on. I don't yeah. know why, but it will. It's not going to catch will. on. I agree with that. I'm not saying I agree with it either, but it will happen. That's not going to um, catch on. It wasn't a horrible song. No, it's not. Uh, but it wasn't but it a great song at the same time. <laughs> so. My thing was, because it was so repetitive and you said the same thing over and over again, when it kept going on, I was like, oh, shit, no, tell me there's no more. You know what I mean? Like, keep the song short. I think it proves its point, being short. Got across the message. We're getting married. We got it. And invite the family, too. Whatever you want to do is fine with me. I don't care. But just leave it at that. Don't keep going. Please. All right. Oh. Um, I, too, thought leave the kazoos in and it adds. It did have the Beatle-esque kind of thing i thought i thought um i could see this in a kid's show actually um obviously somebody's getting married there's no doubt that but it's definitely kind of in the kitty section like little finger puppets getting married or something <laughs> something man i don't know what it is um ironically i think it could be catchy oh, because I, I found the at second. wedding videos sometimes you need corny right and because i used to be you know, corny or I, used to, I used to film um, weddings and I would have to listen to the weirdest shit and this would be one of those fucking tracks I, I just figured out the second scenario and they would do like works. a skit nowadays they're doing skits and this would be the skit where they're doing the fucking retro 1920s black oh and white shit gosh. and that's the fucking song they would play there you go oh or how about this that's how I know gag reel segment of America's Funny Song videos where they're showing different people falling down yes, at their weddings there's another one that would be a good fit AFI yeah there it is AMV <laughs> yeah, fine. This fool. <laughs> no, I did it over to see so like, AFV. And I'm like, yeah, now you know, bitch. That's true. What would you <laughs> vote it as? Um, personally, uh, I don't want to listen to this shit ever in my lifetime. Mm. Wow. But, but you're gonna need it. You're gonna need it for work. No, 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 no. I I don't do that shit anymore. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> there there's always that chance you're gonna fucking hear it. 
Yeah. Well, that wasn't the question. Would you let's do it again on purpose? No, fuck no. Okay. Yeah. So see, it wasn't on purpose. You just have to be someplace where it's being played. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I'm not listening on purpose. Yeah, me neither. I'll probably walk out of the fucking if they sh- somebody popped in fucking movie for the fucking thing, and they played that shit. I'm walking out. You know what? If my friend plays this, friendship over. <laughs> <laughs> it's all Hey You like drop out of his line yeah. While you're walking down You're yeah. just like Oh shit You just you're walk out my the other best way man I'm walking down the aisle Of this shit Hey, hey over <laughs> <laughs> This is the thing You walk in the doorway You throw the rings at him From across the floor And you leave Yeah <laughs> Fuck this shit Wedding <laughs> over Friendship over Alright yeah. uh, And tell What would you uh, What it is You know what Radio If it's on the radio I change the station Unless it went longer than five minutes Then I'd have to Because it would drive me insane Yeah so you just did it so they didn't feel so bad. It's, huh? nice. it's nice of you. you get, well, threw him a bone. You threw him a bone. I wasn't even throwing a bo- to the little puppy in the yeah. picture. <laughs> oh, my ah, gosh. Ah, you got it. Ah, oh, wow. Ah. See what he did there? I saw, yeah. I saw what he did. <laughs> Sadly, <you>. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Was it just like Ted? He's like, he's like, I don't sound that much like Peter Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so your rating is going to be Never Listen To Again On Purpose. We apologize. It um, wasn't a bad song. Who it was just, Wait, I'm not apologizing. Sorry, it was it just, it just we didn't like it. I'm just leaving it at that. We didn't like it. Keep the kazoos. JJ Diesel's Jibber Jabber right now. Enjoy yourselves, people, because this is good entertainment. Just apologize to me. <laughs> what am I apologizing to them for? I apologize to you, Diesel. <laughs> no, they should. Oh, yeah, for real. Somebody who won't. Fucking apologize. No. Ever. Oh, is gonna... For using a kazoo. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> that thing's gonna be my head. Gotta hear another song. Mm. Alright. Looks like a good show. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Very nice. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. I love that part. It was good. It was good. Um. Well, I want to say uh, I like capes. Oh, I like capes. So since I like capes as a kid, I got the baby stuff with capes. Nice. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're it, jealous that they don't make it on your yes, size, aren't you? Absolutely, yes. a thousand percent. Well, I think they do. Uh, I wish. I if I have. If well, it depends I, what it is. You, you just got to go to the pimp and hoe shop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I I, I don't want right away. Went to the Chappelle. Chappelle. I don't I don't want like a James Brown cape. Okay. Oh, okay. I want a superhero cape. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, um, <laughs> but the the baby some Superman pajamas. Boom. And he realizes that they're Superman, and and he calls the cape his super. He's like, oh, where's my super? So That's the dope. very first time he put them on, I tried to put him to bed, and he said, "But I'm super." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. So you gotta go to so sleep. You, so like, That's yeah, awesome. you get a point. You get a point. It's, it's a good point. And what did you say? Like, even Superman got sleep. Yeah, I said even Superman gets punched in the face. So you better go to sleep. <laughs> no, I said I know, but it will be super tomorrow. So uh, he thought he couldn't be put to sleep because he was super. So um, that was wrong. And then, like, like, sleep wasn't his kryptonite. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, that's what you should have told him. Sleep's your kryptonite, no, son. This little oh. little sandwich is kryptonite. There you go. And then, um, I made him say something at uh, we're at Red Robin, and uh, we were sitting down, and there was like a, a wood partition between us and another uh, family, mm-hmm. and uh, they had a they had a kid, and he was kind of going, you know, a little ape shit or whatever, which that doesn't really bother me. Um, everyone, you know, everyone that has kids, you, you'll know that there's times where they're just going to do what they no, you know, whatever you tell them, if right. they want to yell, sometimes they're just going to yell. Right. Even if you threaten them with a beating or something. Right. So what bothers me is when parents try not to do, they were trying to control their kid, you know? Uh-huh. So I'm like, oh, they're like, oh, we're sorry. We're like, don't worry about it. Like, you know, everyone has day, like, don't even worry about it. It's cool. You know, but he kept looking over and kept looking over and saying, like, not saying bad things, but like, rah, rah, like saying stuff. So Ryan, just, like, he's just looking at him. I go, tell him to zip his lip. He's all zippy yip. <laughs> 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 he, he kept trying to stand up. I'm like, no, 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 don't stand up because like he'll probably push him on the floor. You know, right, right. He's right. all zippy yip, and he kept yelling at him to zip his lip. And then Coco's awesome. all, Coco's all, hey, 
And I'm like, hey, he's telling him to zip his lip, man. <laughs> he was just like, he, he said it. I'm like, okay, okay, that's enough. Zip a yip. And he, was, <laughs> he said it like, like about like 20 times. Zip a yip. Zip a yip. And he, oh, I was like, oh, man, I kind of wanted to let him up so he can kind of give him a face. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, you should have YouTube that shit. That's awesome. But he, oh, that happens all um, the time. But he did a, a punk a kid at a three-year-old birthday party. What? No doubt. He oh, uh, he went, and this, this kid was a little bit older than him, you know? Right. And he had a water, uh, squirt gun, like a water gun. Uh-huh. Well, the baby goes over there, and he just sees it, and he's like, oh, that looks awesome, right? So the kid is sitting down. He has a water gun by his side, and he's sitting down with his um, with his with the bottoms of his feet, like, touching you know what I mean? Almost Indian style, but instead right. of cross, his bottom of his feet are touching. Right. So um, the baby goes to pick up the gun just to look at it. And he's like looking at it like, oh, cool. And the kid like snatches it from him and like puts it behind his back and just looks at him. So then I was like, oh, man, like I don't, you know, I can't like push this little kid in the face or nothing. So I was right. like, shit. So then the baby just looks at him and then steps on his foot so he couldn't get up. I was just like staring at him and like stomping on his like like smashing his feet into the ground. And I was like, "That's freaking awesome!" Said, That's how you do it. But I was like, <sighs> I was like, "All right, all right, enough, buddy, enough. Come on." And he was like, "Dude, he just like sn- like snapped, like you know what I'm Holy saying? Like crap, don't dude. punk me in front of my daddy." Yeah. Wow. He wasn't having that. I'll tell you this right now. He wasn't having that. <laughs> That's fucking G status. And then I saw I saw this. Um, this is just weird. I was uh, at the parking lot of Home Depot. And somebody had, like, for whatever reason, a bunch of twine, white twine, right? Yeah. So it was, like, a big old, bu- like, you know, like, if you've seen the cartoons, it's all, like, inter- intertwined or whatever. And mm-hmm. it's, like, a, you know, like, a. so he was going through it, and I just glanced, and <laughs> all I saw was, because he had, like, earbuds on that had a white cord. Mm-hmm. And I was like, how long is this cord? <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I like this cord. I was like, oh my god, it's all tangled everywhere. That's horrible. And I realized it wasn't his earbud cord. It was. Um, Made you laugh though. Yeah, I was like, oh man, I What's wish your it was. Deal, yeah. you was. I don't know what my deal is. I know. And then uh, the last thing is, I saw, I saw the first thing I'd ever seen. Um, I saw a really hot girl wearing Crocs. What? Yeah. Is that even possible? No, I didn't think it was. And um it must I, have been some old lady who just got plastic surgery done. No, <laughs> no, no, no. It was uh it was pretty um it just made her look stupid cuz I was like all I could focus on was like this dumb bitch has Crocs on. <laughs> and I was like does she know she has Crocs on? And I was like does she know that she's hot and she's wearing Crocs? And I just couldn't um I thought she was dumb. I and don't know, I don't know if she was that hot. Uh he was well, turning at the goddamn Crocs. The Crocs ruined it. <sighs> the Crocs I mean, you know, like you obviously notice an attractive looking yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, you know, I don't I don't like walk around and be like, ooh, ooh, hey, ooh, and he started ooh, up top, but when ooh, he got down low and saw the Crocs, it was over. Dude, I'm telling you, I was down just low. <laughs> he was like, was over the feet. <laughs> well, um Well wait, what? <laughs> just go ahead. Just go ahead. You're gonna, who goes all the way down to the You're going to see them. It's not like, I mean, if we were like, you know, face to face, I don't, wouldn't notice them, but I was getting out of my She's car. at the titties. <laughs> the headlights, not the tires. You know, I was just getting out of the car. You know, you just see somebody like, oh, you know, you obviously notice it. It's not like, you know, you go over there and hit on them or whatever. Well, if you're married, you can't. Yeah. You know, Intel could, but oh, could. I, obviously, I can't, you know. So I just got out and I just remember. Just being like, you know, you just think, oh, well, she's, you know, attractive, whatever. Yeah. You see attractive people all the time, you know. I look in the mirror. Every day I see it, <laughs> you know. No problems. Wow. No problems, yeah, you know. There it is. I'm a pornograph star. I look good, you know. Keep it real. So um, I just saw them, and it just, honestly, I was thinking, I was like, if I was single, if I was walking, I just would have walked back, I think. Because <laughs> I would have, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, usually, like, girls have trouble staring at their boobs, guys yeah. staring at their boobs. I would have been staring at her Crocs. Her Crocs, C R O C's, not her crotch. Yeah, yeah. And it just. What if she would have got mad? 
fuck you staring at? What are you looking at my Crocs for? You should be oh staring my. at my titties or something. <laughs> Imagine she gets mad. She's all trying to flash you to distract Wait, you. Wait, maybe that's why she wears Crocs, because she doesn't want guys looking at her boobs. There it is. Mm. Keeps but then, them away. But then she looks like a dumb bitch. Yeah. Well, you know, if she had big boobs and no Crocs on, they would still think she's a dumb bitch, but a dumb bitch with big boobs. Yeah, well, I think I think all girls with big boobs are dumb bitches. I'm just kidding. There it is. <laughs> Crocs are not, <laughs> and they're all bad drivers. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> let it go. Just let it go. Just where's where's let this go. going? Okay, that's so, enough. Thanks for the wow. time. Yeah, thanks for listening. That's enough for <laughs> money. And thank you, Diesel, for your jibber jabber. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I can't I wait till the I next email how show. Big, I want big boobs. I know. Make you bed driver. <laughs> Don't answer. Don't answer. <laughs> Let's see. Coco's gonna be mad. Not not Coco Teriyaki, but the original Coco's gonna be mad. Then you got D, who's gonna be mad. Yeah, I don't think she's a, a dumb hooker. Who D? Yeah. yeah. Or Coco. Either. No. I, I like them both. Right, but they both have big titties. I'm just gonna I say. Like. I'm just gonna say she did not drive. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Who? <laughs> Oh, she didn't, huh? She didn't drop. He, he's right. She did get dropped. Oh, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. You might have a point. You might have a point. There's a chance I'm speaking the truth. <laughs> or you could be speaking the absolute truth. <laughs> yeah. The driving part, that's not false. Women are worse drivers than men are. Wow. Especially old Asian women. Wow. Yeah. Old. There are women and Asian, the triple threat. Just get off the road, buddy. Get off the road. All right, gotta, uh, oh, gonna be a ninja be to get away from <laughs> <laughs> You're all ready for this old Asian woman in the car. Ninja status doing backflips and shit, trying to avoid her. Oh, man. <laughs> Throwing ninja stars at the tires. All right. Oh, all right, oh, you got to do a for us? <laughs> yeah, Nick, <laughs> Nick Stars of the Day goes by the name Little Devil. Oh. And they do alternative rock out of Warren, New Jersey. L.J. Warren. Huh. <sighs> LJ Warren. And now it's, now it's Warren and J. Then the next one will be Jersey Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Look, little Devil <laughs> is a band. So smart. <laughs> from Central New Jersey. Hey, how do you talk Jersey talk? Um, oh, kind of like, uh, you know. Uh, how, did, how did Ted do it? Was that Jersey? No, that was, that was Bronx. No, 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 no. That's Boston. That's that Boston. Was Boston. No, it was Boston. That's oh. Boston. You know what oh, they got the oh, boxes. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Boston, yeah. Yeah, Boston. New man. Jersey, whose only ambition is to play. Hey, get <laughs> over night. here. Maybe that's a no, this Jersey. Mm. Hey, get hey, over that's here. That's a cool ambition, man. They, all they want to do is play all, every night. That's it. That's ah, look, cool. look. Like in Jersey, they just smash it like, you know, get the <laughs> fuck out of here. That's, that's that's how it is. The hey, four yeah, members, that's the whole two brothers and two childhood like on friends. Jersey Shore. Yeah, Jersey Shore. You know? sure. Separated at some camp. The, where they got them? Are some of the most special normal people you like ever see? These guys, Frank, uh, Aunt, Brandon, and Mike, <laughs> get together and write songs about heartbreak and friendship, drinking too much. How many of those guys fuck Snooky? And <laughs> uh, having too much fun. Like all just, of them, right? Didn't they gang bang on one episode? They, just two. They have only I think, been I think in they a band for a short while for me. September 2010. They gang banged her. That's how she ended up pregnant, right? But have already shared the stage of acts as the shapes of... Whoa. T- talk like that wait, during wait. The, the bio. Um, I, I can't do that. But have already shared the cash, stage. Cash, cash. <laughs> 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 In 2010. But have on, have already shared the stage with acts of all shapes and sizes, including Brett Michaels. Awesome. Super group, uh, the, the Damn Things, and Cash, oh, Cash. Oh, we've been doing the wrong reality show, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Brett Michaels. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, don't go, don't. He's going to pop up the wig and stuff. Yeah. Uh, oh, the live show consists the of energy, yes. awkward jokes from 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 the grizzly-looking lead singer, uh, guitar solo. Is this our band? Yeah, uh, I think so. Uh, he's playing his guitar or making love to it. Yeah, I think. I think this, hey, they, they're like. They, they might have copied that bio. These, yeah. guy, these guys were, were V-necks. They're not grizzly at all. Oh, let me see the guys. Yeah, you know, they're not us. One of them's got a beard. I guess he's the grizzly one. They have only one goal in mind, to write songs everybody can relate to, to write lyrics and invoke feelings, have fun, and make their lives. And this is Little Devil with their sl- their song, Little Sleep Devil. Alone.
All right, that was Little Devil with their song Sleep Alone. If you want to contact them, you can contact them at booklittledevil at gmail.com. And you can find them on youtube.com slash official, And you can also check them out on Facebook, Little Devil Band. All right, let's do it. All right, oh. Um, I thought, I thought actually, I thought it was, at the beginning, I didn't know where to go with it. And then it actually grew on me. Yeah. Um, the vocals, I like, I like that little thing that he has in his vocal tone that made it different from any other rock band kind of thing. Um, I could definitely see this song on literally any soundtrack for any romantic comedy ever made. I can yeah. definitely see it there. Um, I had you guys played well together. Um, I mean, it's not it's not what's on the radio right now because it's all like indie indie rock right now. Uh, but it's it's it, it your style it was pretty like good enough to like make make me want for for this genre to come back to the radio because I kind of missed it. That's how good this song was for me. And the uh, you like the there was two singers right. Or did he just change his voice? I, I don't just... know. I don't know. I can't really tell. But I kind of, <laughs> I kind of think it's one. I tell him so much he fell asleep. <laughs> Come on, guys, I'm listening. <laughs> so was it one or two singers? Was it one or two? There's only one. He's doing harmonies. Yeah, yeah. Well, then kudos to you. Yeah, that's all I got. Yeah, I like that guy's voice a lot. Yeah. Um, I don't know if his voice was super different from anything I've heard. I don't. I don't think that was the case, but I think he did a really good job. Mm-hmm. I think he had a really good voice. Yes. Um. So that's what that's what brought me in. The music was cool, but I hear lots of cool music. You know what I mean? His his vocals I thought were were really. really oh yeah, that's one thing I didn't mention. The lyrics were pretty cool. Really on. Yeah, so, they were really on. Um, great job with that. You know, really, really. Uh, you you definitely brought me in. I was with O at. I, at the beginning, I wasn't sure where to go with it, and then you definitely uh, brought me in. So, uh, mm-hmm. thank you. Good song. Good job. Yeah, overall, I I enjoyed it. Also, uh, just to add to what they said, all the instrumentation was very good. It was very well produced. Everything was at the right level. Everybody was on time with each other. The transitions were seamless. Um, it was it was a really good song overall. Um, I have nothing bad to say about it. Yeah. No. What would you uh, rate it as? I'm gonna iTunes the single. Awesome. What about you? Um, yeah, tunes it. That's where I'm at. Chins. There it is. Second highest rating on the show. I tunes the single. Oh. Ooh-wee. That's right. Ooh wee. That's what you get. Yeah. Congratulations. Second highest rating on our show. And uh, let's go ahead and let's get into another song and see what else we got going on. Before Intel falls asleep. <laughs> All right, next artist of the day goes by the name Brotherhoods, and he does hip hop, uh, slash Southern rock, Southern rock rap, uh, slash rap out of Lawrenceville, Georgia. Lawrenceville, Georgia. <laughs> Lawrenceville. Nova Styles and Atlanta native is one could say the energy of Brotherhoods. His confidence as an individual brings a certain amount of arrogance and life to the to the music. A rebel in most ways, but <laughs> does not let himself or anybody else put him in a box. All about that's the pine one. Um, yeah, <laughs> that means you're dead. <laughs> All about the hip hop movement. He's always strived to put the truth in his lyrics. I'm always going to spit the real. At first, when he, when you said uh, a rebel in most ways, I thought I said a robot in most ways. <laughs> yeah. I was like, is he a robot? I'm glad I read it right then. I wish you would have said a robot. <laughs> that would be awesome. The guy's like part cyborg. I'm a robot. It's all auto tune the song and stuff. <laughs> all right, this is Brotherhoods. What should be auto tune right at the beginning? That'd be uh, awesome. <laughs> this is Brotherhoods with their song, uh, Slow It Down. Girl, I see you walking by me through the town. Oh. I can't help but stay. Damn, excuse me, shorty, you caught my ADHD, and it's having a party. Now you got me with them heels, cause I heard them clock, and the Alabama booty, girl, it's about to drop. 
Last excuse what I be saying No, I be kind of playing But can you blame me for my male observation? It's male curiosity Action be the following And I'm trying to get you, girl So you ain't gotta follow me So what's your name and likes and what's good? Reason for the question Cause you knew in my hood So my first instinct is to question in conversation And since you in my area You have an obligation to answer But slow down, girl Don't get crazy If you don't want to It's all gravy With the onion powder and chicken Booyah your mix But you the type of eggs That can go with my creeps And that's real Girl, I see you walking by me too. Hey, baby, hey, where you going, baby? Come here, come here, baby. I can't jump a step. Try to call sex with you, baby. Don't do it like that. I ain't trying to just go with real quick, real quick. Girl, I see you walking by me good It ain't no way that I could Hot damn, you caught me Good lord, I see you walking before me You not a story You waving at me like a tourist And if you having high thoughts Then baby, I'm boring Your body's a drug I'm a fiend, so you gotta support it The habit that I have for you I'm an addict trying not to take you in vain But what's your name? You'll come and park in my lane I take the ticket As long as we can kick it More freedom I'm I'm willing to risk it, it's crime for you to be this fine, how I do the time, I'd rather you be my cellmate, for you girl I'm jailbait, I'm loving the fact that I could go to prison, and having you being the reason that my mama miss me, I wouldn't dare call out for visits, that's cause it's cutting it to my hugs and kisses, and granted wishes, the baby girl let's get with it. Oh, okay. Alright, that was Brother Hoods with their song Slow It Down, and if you want to contact them, you can contact them. On Twitter at Brotherhoods2010, that's uh, you'll find that on our site. It's spelled the fancy way, and you can also find them on Brotherhoods.com. You can also find them. They have Facebook. You gotta check our site for the links, and they have ReverbNation.com/Brotherhoods, and you can also find them on OurStage.com/Profile/Brotherhoods. All right, let's do it. All right, Intel. All right, um, I thought the beat had a very nice bounce to it. The hook was catchy, the way you had the singer singing on it. Mm. Lyrically, you were fine. Um, nothing really stood out to me that made me go, wow, this is a great, great, amazing song. But at the same time, it wasn't a bad song. I could hear mm-hmm. this pretty much on the radio with a lot of other stuff that's out there. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, th- I thought you wrote the track well. I thought your uh, cadence was cool. And lyrically, you were okay. You were decent. So you feel like the the first guy... Because there's two guys, I'm assuming. Yeah. Sound yeah, like two, two guys, guys to me. Right. So um, the, the, the second guy, actually, I thought was a lot better. The guy who came in after the hook. Uh-huh. I enjoyed him more than I did the first guy. Huh. Yeah. I, I thought I thought the second guy was a little better, but to me, the fir- the first guy was more interesting. Had more mm. had more interesting yeah. things to say. Yes. But delivery-wise, the other guy sounded better. You know what? The first guy, to me, even... Um, I wouldn't say, yeah, I'm not going to say he sounded better than the first guy, but he had a different style, mm-hmm. something that I'm not really used to hearing. The guy, the second, the, the second uh, artist, I, I thought he did do a good job, but I've heard stuff like similar to that. Mm. And like the first guy, I haven't really heard much like that. So I, I liked that it was something different is what I liked. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, I thought it was a little silly at times. I thought it was kind of funny at times and- I actually agree with him. I I, I really like the I like the hook a lot. I I love the way it started because right from the beginning of the song I was into it. Mm-hmm. I just thought that was incredible. I, so I I really really enjoyed the hook. Um, and I just think you guys did. A, I think you guys just put together a, a very solid song. So you know. Oh. Uh yeah. Uh, I kind of agree with both of you guys. Um, I did I did like the song, but it wasn't. You know, it wasn't. Bad song, but it wasn't a really good one to surprise me. Where I like went, holy shit, mm-hmm. this is the shit kind of thing. Uh, I did like the first guy, the way he, you know, he rode the beat and stuff, and that style he had. It's interesting. Yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> I liked it. Uh, I didn't have problems with the second guy. The only no. problem I had was at the beginning. Um, there was something weird in there at the beginning that I'm all like, this dude kind of like. It, this is what I'm going to say. This is what I thought in my head. This dude, something's wrong with this dude. Like something <laughs> bad going, and then and then he brought it back. Like he came back and he, and he went solid. So there's something funky that I had right at the beginning of the, that second verse. That's funny. Yeah, that's that's, that's what popped in guy. my head. I'm all like, something there's something, yeah, there's something wrong with this guy. <laughs> that's funny. 
that's what that's that's what I, um that I got right away from that. But overall, like you brought it back and and you wrote it a little better. I guess I maybe didn't write it right or something. Something went wrong for me know. at the beginning, and and then later on you came out and the stuff that you were saying wasn't like super amazing like lyrically but it was cool enough to keep me you know keep going for for the whole song that i wanted to listen to the last verse that's Good. coming up well what would you uh rate it as? um i would rate it as i would steal this i uh, would itunes mm-hmm. intel um i think i'm also going to steal it <laughs> illegally this microphone's all sideways <laughs> right uh and uh the reasons why is because i explained before what, just, what did you say we didn't hear you i said i'm going to download illegally oh, okay and that's going to be the rating for the show. Download illegally. So, congrats to you guys. And let's go ahead and break right now. So, we can for take our a nap. Sponsors. <laughs> Here's the thing, dude. If you want to break into the industry, you're going to need your own web page. To get your own web page, you're going to have to have a host. Why not use hostgator.com? We do. They're pretty cheap. They have great deals and uh, their service is incredible. Plus, if you use our promo code, Nobody Cares Show. You're a moron. Sorry, Nobody Cares Show. That's better. You're going to save even more money. So, why not use HostGator.com? Hey, this is the D's from the Nobody Cares Show. When I'm not hosting the greatest show on earth, I like to cool out and kick the actual factual at the 818 Lounge with my partners. Centered in beautiful Montrose, California, or Glendale for you less sophisticated, is a place where you can do it all. Whether you feel like hanging out at the bar, macking in the lounge, or in some delicious food, or even going upstairs to play a little pool. Yes, there is an upstairs area, and yes, it does have a bar. Both bars fully functional with all the best spirits for all the best prices. And if you're lucky, you might even catch performances by the newest, hottest up-and-coming acts. Most nights are no cover charge, and locals always get in free. So join the D's at the 818 Lounge in Montrose, California. Tell Sean, the owner, I said what's up. (laughs) <laughs> and we are back. All right, let's, oh, let's go ahead and get into the last song of the night. What if he used like, a, a litter box instead of a toilet? <laughs> if you didn't have any running water, could a human like being use, use a litter box instead of a toilet? I'll tell you what, I, I think you'd be could. able to cover the scent. Because it's like a human turd? Yeah. <laughs> Masking the scent of the piss and the turd would just not be friendly. Oh, that's my cat. Could you oh. ma- hey, can you imagine <sighs> the big-ass clump you'd have to like get, take out of the litter box every single oh. time? What, do you have a mountain lion? <laughs> No, I'm talking about as far as because when you piss, no, I'm saying when too. people see it. Oh yeah, yeah. What do you have a mountain lion? You have a big ass turd. <laughs> <laughs> Your cat does huge turds. <laughs> so a fucking saber turd. Oh the like saber turd. Worst tangent ever. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, have any Johnny cat? <laughs> <laughs> That should be a. Hey, that's gonna be like one of my MC names, MC Johnny Cat. <laughs> Johnny <laughs> MC Johnny <laughs> Cat. <laughs> Oh my god! Because you drop turns. Because <laughs> he's got cat class and he's got cat style. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh. All right, next our <laughs> Sunday goes by the name Dom Johnny Cat. <laughs> Johnny Cat sounds pretty fucking Cat. awesome. Dom P. Oh yeah, <laughs> Dom P. And he does hip hop slash R and B out of New York, New York. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Dom P's music is built on the belief that. True art, no matter in what format, is destined to be appreciated and noticed. Losing sleep every day to form the best hip hop compositions. Don P doesn't rest until his idea is put into sonic form. Ooh, Ooh sonic form. That's better than digital. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nice use of words, bro. I uh, don't even with, know what sonic form means. Yeah, sounds. with lyrics sounding Nobody like does. they took a deep thought coming Did at make that you. Up? One bar at a time, you'll yes. notice immediately <laughs> that it isn't done for the, the fame at, or the money. So I don't is, have either. So, so, so in other, so in other is, words, it's pretty bad because he knows he can't make any money off of it. It is done for the love of music and the and the people that form the culture. Yeah, well, because I don't know anybody from the hood that's turning away a dollar. <laughs> no way. Uh, okay. And this is his <laughs> song. This is Dom P. <laughs> With his song, The Haze, fe- produced by Dompey. Nice, he produces his own beat. Awesome. Uh, okay, I'm freezing hot and burning cold. Tan skin, brown eyes, Gary's got some. 
some purple robe As I chase pieces of paper known to turn a globe Never gave a fuck, but if I did, you'd be the first to know Uh, baby, won't you come and share this cup of wine Have it dark or white, this alcohol erase the color line You giving head is now the only thing that comes to mind She ain't going nowhere, but I bet she'll come a couple times uh, And what I'm sipping got me moving at a slow speed Bitch, I'm so high, I could probably catch a nosebleed Watch a stack of paper, I been weak of floss with no teeth Money over bitches is the theme and the motif Bet my dick is leaving with your lipstick on it If my name ain't on that paper, there's a misprint on it How I'm eating, you can tell it's gonna be big shit Popping you a sweat, they be the Parker How to kiss Miss Watson We ain't even smoking, but I got your ass Feeling like you've never been this high before I'm sorry I'm so busy Because every time I leave, I'm left wishing there was time for more but if you wanna hide, I can be erased Baby, for tonight, let me be your hate Let me take you high. Girl, you can like the haze and watch these minutes move slower Bet I make these women move and make these niggas move over They ain't rapping as good You see, I got my hands on the hood Like I'm someone the police just pulled over I'm inspired by that pimp shit Making hoes and stacking dough Girl, I blow your mind as if I'm rapping from the grassy know That haze is short to get you high and get your panties low Guarantee you leave it feeling woozy with a scratchy uh, throat City lights glowing bright We got these hotties looking Scottish How they blowing pipes Man, can't you tell that I'm that one nigga There's no one like If you need me to pay attention Then your shit is overpriced Trying to figure out where I'ma go tonight That bitch on hit nights Got us moving cool Let them niggas hate us what losers do Only thing you really gotta oh, do is you oh. Alright, that was Don P with his song the haze uh produced by himself and if you want to contact him you can contact him at twitter at art by dj boy you can also find him music for days dot com you can also find him on facebook dom p music myspace dom p 207 uh youtube music for days tv pure volume dom p and dom p online dot com all right intel do it <laughs> you guys are <laughs> bastards. Now, were there like three different rappers on that? Nope. That was all him. That's what I like a different person. Each I was time. thinking that. Literally, I was like, it just says Don P though. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, even the whatever the deep voice, the devil voice, or well, whatever. Yeah, I know well, that was. I know. Well, yeah, I know well, yeah, that, that was be. chopped. Whatever. That was yeah, screwed. Yeah. That was screwed. Whatever. But. That was him. The R and B dude was him too. Wow. Singing also on the hook. Yeah. I will say this. I thought the hook was clever. I like the arrangement of the hook. I thought um, that was very good. <sighs> Lyrically, you're dope as an MC. Your flow was cool. You didn't fall off once. I liked what you were saying. I liked how you were saying it. Yeah. Um, the beat uh, was cool, too. The production on it was smooth. Um, it could be a little higher quality, and so could the recording. Uh, and this actually kind of takes me back, though. I don't see it. I don't, for some reason, I don't get a feeling of a contemporary type song on this. Like I'm feeling like mm-hmm. almost mid to late 90s underground you know what i'm saying but it's still dope like i still i still like this now <clears throat> do you think that you like this because it on its own merit or just because it, it takes you back to that no just on its own merit it's well done no oh. i mean mm-hmm. it, i it, like it because i'm grading it mostly off of his m seamanship yeah how he sits his <laughs> m seamanship come on dude <laughs> You need to you need to check that out. Dude. <laughs> you know what I'm I was checking him out as MC? far as his skills. He was spitting Manship. fire, so I gotta I gotta get him low on that. Yeah. So overall, it was it was cool. Nice. Oh, I thought I thought I thought I thought I I like that you were showing your different style. And I thought I thought I thought <laughs> I, I, I thought that re- was gonna be a lot shorter. <laughs> no, that, I thought it was good, and I then thought, I'm done. I thought I thought. <laughs> Uh yeah, I like the fact that you were showing your range. Like, uh, you know, at the beginning, I thought it was dope. E- even the fact that you're rapping about, you know, getting high and all that stuff, which is usually done. It wasn't typical. It wasn't typical. You know, yeah. like I actually enjoy. Like, yeah, you know, I kind of want to get high. <laughs> 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 it like, makes me feel like how this song is saying, I want to try it. You know what I'm saying? And then the the hook with the R&B stuff, oh, my God, that's so good. Like, you're really good. And then and then at towards the end, I'm starting to get the, the little the Drake feel towards the end, which I wanted to listen to more, but uh, yeah. that's how the rules work. Um, but overall, I thought it was a, a really good song. And uh, production level, I didn't see. I thought it was good. Yeah. Uh, so I, I don't know how picky you were getting into it, but you're the master, so I don't even know. 
Master Seaman. That's how you do. Yeah, the Master M Seaman shit. Um, yes. I I I thought it was impressive that he kind of showed four different sides to himself. Yeah, for real. The you know just what we heard at the beginning. Mm-hmm. The um the singing, the devil man, and then what we heard right before. Yeah, kind of like the Drake so thing. He gave us like four kind of different uh slides of himself. Mm-hmm. Four different little, you know, and I thought Oh, I thought and then the, I actually gave you another one cuz he produced the beat. No, I'm just saying as far as like I'm just yeah, as yeah. far as, you know, um I thought that uh <clears throat> for you to pretty much be doing that, that's pretty I thought you were very efficient in all areas. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. To say the least, you know, uh, yeah, I pretty much agree with them. Good song. I like the way you did it. Everything is pretty awesome. So way to go. Thank you for a very good song. I think I'm by the album. Uh, Intel. Okay, uh, my rating is gonna be <laughs> by the single off of iTunes. What? Yeah, man. By the single off of iTunes. Uh, uh, I'm uh, working for you. Uh, in the uh, front uh, of the mic. Uh, I think this man. Uh, uh, by the single off of <laughs> iTunes. Uh, 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 Shut it. <laughs> I think I think I will too. I think I will too. I think I will too. All right, your rating is going to be by the single off iTunes. Oh, let them get what they deserve. I don't even know. I don't even know. This one. You bastard, a muffle. There it is. That's what you got. That's what you get, Dom P. The uh, the second highest rating on the show. You should be proud of that. We hope you guys enjoyed the show tonight. Um, if you want to check us out, hit us up at our webpage, nobodycareshow.com. Also, you can email us at nobodycareshow at gmail.com. If you want to be an artist on our show, go to our homepage, hit the banner, click submit. Page. It'll tell you what to yeah. do. Also, yeah. hit us up. Nobodycareshow.com. Um, <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, uh, Blip TV. iTunes, uh, you know, iTunes the Mag, uh, Zoom out. Marketplace. Everywhere you want to go. Check, check out Attention the Mag. Remember, we're a weekly show, and you can get yeah. weekly entertainment once a week from us. So do it. And if uh, you want to uh, listen to past yeah, episodes, you can have it every single and fucking get day. And get tips on our, on our website. And you can also give a shout out to uh, yeah. Huff. I want to give a shout yeah. out to Huff. Yeah. Yeah. Shouts out to Noah James, Black Cloud Music, yeah. and uh, the whole DIY festival coming up over here in Pomona. It's going to be awesome. Yep. It's going to be super Find awesome. Find us there. Find us there. We will be there. Only because we were we invited. Be Pretty dang sad. <laughs> Pretty dang. <laughs> <laughs> I got my room right there. <laughs> I'm doing the good. I got my whole fuck man. <laughs> I like the rock scene, man. <laughs> Dude, you made this show. <laughs> you made so this show so much fun. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I can't even help it right now. I'm just like wait till you it. see it. Oh, I know. Just wait till you see it. We already got the plan for it. It's gonna be <laughs> awesome. I mean, you're gonna see it. What are you gonna give me a cap and a pillow? Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't think of the cap. You're on the right. You're on the right track. <laughs> You, I didn't think yeah, the cap, yeah, but no. <laughs> thank you for that. Like Ebenezer Scrooge cap. <laughs> little cartoon Z's. <laughs> yep. Little dream sequences of me fucking men. Oh, that's even Bad. better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dream sequence of him being black. <laughs> <laughs> and rapping in a battle. <laughs> oh, that'd be incredible. Oh, my God. Except for I'm battling MLM, so I'm still losing. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. That was good. Incredible. Thank you so much. We out. Yeah.